This weekend, clocks across Australia are set to wind forward as we enter daylight saving time. And in just a couple weeks, our friends in the Northern Hemisphere will do the opposite. But why do we do this seasonal ritual? And more importantly, should we keep it up? Now, keeping up with the sunshine is nothing new. Long before we had time zones, heck, before we even had clocks, people used to adjust their schedules with the seasons. I mean, it makes sense if you don't have to be at work at 9am because 9am as a concept hasn't really been invented yet, then you just sort of wake up when the sun rises and go to bed just about when it sets. In a way, our modern system of time zones is actually a regression from that, but we'll talk about that another time. The modern notion of daylight saving time was first proposed in 1895 by an entomologist named George Hudson, whose shiftwork job led him to appreciate the daylight hours. He submitted a paper to the Wellington Philosophical Society proposing that clocks be moved forward during the summer months. Incidentally, Hudson was a New Zealander, so if you like daylight savings time, let me know in the comments below and I'll have Australia claim him like we did with Farlap Pavlova and Russell Crowe. Unfortunately, Hudson's proposal didn't really go anywhere. And neither did a similar idea from Englishman William Willett in 1905. There were a few experiments in the intervening years, but the first widespread adoption of DST came during World War I. The Germans wandered away to conserve coal, and Europe and America quickly followed suit. And it turns out our New Zealand friend was right. People do tend to enjoy the extra hour of sunlight at the end of the day. So we've mostly stuck with it ever since. And welcome back, it is 8.02 and this weekend is Daylight Savings. That's right, don't forget to turn your clocks forward an hour this Sunday. But more importantly, should we be doing this at all. Yes, like we do every single year on this show, it's time to have an absolutely ravenous debate about daylight savings like it's the biggest issue facing our planet. Here for the next half hour, me and me. Oh, well, daylight savings time is amazing. Being out in the sunlight has such good health benefits. And it's great for tourism in the economy and it helps conserve energy, but it causes sleep deprivation, which leads to huge losses in productivity and even increases the chance of heart attacks. Plus, in some places, it might even increase electricity usage. Normally, once the morning TV shows have gone wild and the debate has happened, the clocks change uneventfully and soon enough we all get back into our normal routines. But recently, that started to change. In 2011, Russia moved the clocks forward permanently and Belarus followed suit. Then the Russians got tired of the late sunrises, so switched back to wintertime and abandoned DST altogether. And it looks like the EU is set to sunset this ritual too. I, I was supposed to film this bit during a sunset, but it got cloudy. A public consultation revealed 80% opposition to daylight saving time, and so there'll be no more European clock meddling from this point onwards. Clocks across Europe will revert to winter time this month, and come April, individual countries will have to decide whether they're going to keep the hour hand where it is, or move it forward for one last time.